Yes, so I'm back. Yeah, no, it's crazy. This is literally my third live today, which is like, whew, that's a lot. Don't be like expecting this many all the time, though. But anyways, so on the first live I did today, I talked about how God, you know, showed me like a reminder that he will provide for me financially. Um, if you haven't checked that out, but watch it. It was a couple hours ago. You can like scroll down my feed or whatever and find that video. My second video today was actually my class, my mini course, talking about like making resolutions that will work for you in 2019. So if you haven't checked that out, you can check that out as well. But so this is part two from a continuation from that first video, basically. And the reason why I'm posting it is because this is gonna be awesome, guys. We're going to you guys are running like with this America. Basically, I'm gonna take you step by step. So let me tell you what's gonna happen. Around, I don't know when it started, but in my October water bill was like a hundred dollars. Now, mind you, like for people who know, like by, who don't know about water bills, water bills usually don't be that expensive, right? But I didn't really pay any mind. So I was like, well, you know, I had you know more company over during that month, and I was like, a lot going on. So I was like, I just you know disregarded. You know, I was like, maybe, you know, it'll probably go back down the following month. So then I got my November bill, right? My November bill was $200. It's like, okay. So I started calling from, like, I called the water company, like, because something's wrong, obviously, you know. Because you, no reason your water bill should be $200, right? So they told me, you know, it's probably a leak somewhere. They told me how to test to see if you can find the leak. It was basically like, oh, you just, like, if it's a toilet, which is most likely that's what they said. They said all you have to do is get like food coloring and you put it in the tank. And then if there's a leak, the food coloring will go like it'll be in the bowl, like without you having to flush. So basically just run straight through. And so I tested my toys and there's one that's in my um it's technically the master's bath master bathroom, but I use that more so as office. And so I actually really don't use that one as I actually don't really use that one at all. So it's like that's why I hadn't really noticed it because it's in the background I don't really use. And so, of course, the ink, the um, food coloring went straight to the bowl, like, immediately. And they said it would take, like, 30 minutes. That thing happened, like, immediately. And the stuff was there. So I was like, okay. And so then I, um, you know, called. I have a home warranty. And, you know, had the people come out. They fixed it, whatever. And so basically what was supposed to happen was, you know, I was going to get my, have it fixed, have proof that I fixed it, and take that proof to the water company so then that way they would do like an adjustment on my bill. And so basically I went down there literally like the next day. This was about a week ago. About a week ago, maybe a week and a half, I don't remember. It was before, it was a week ago Monday basically. And so I went down there and so of course my consumption rate hasn't gone down yet because they have, they had to tell between the bill, between from one bill to the next bill is when they tell if your consumption rate went down and that's the terms whether or not you get the adjustment or not. So I'm like, okay, cool. But they had all my stuff on file. So I'm like, okay, cool, no problem. And just to make sure that, you know, there was an obvious difference that that my usage was up because of the leak and not because of me. I was like, I'm gonna cut back on the water use and you know to that way make sure that like everything's good. Okay. So um I was it's kinda of funny because literally had a power outage during that um during my second video today, power was out crazy, right? Power was out. And so then I was hanging out in the in my in what's considered to be my master's bathroom. And I like just sitting there hanging out. There's basically sitting in the dark, right? And I hear water. Like I hear water dripping. I hear like water just going. I'm like, I wonder if that thing is actually fixed or not. I'm like, okay. As soon as the power comes back on, because right now I can't see anyways. I'm going to do the little dye test again. So then the power came on about an hour, about 40 minutes ago. And so I did the test again. And sure enough, the food color went straight down into the tank again. So, I, okay, at first I was really frustrated because it's like, okay, I literally just got this fixed. I thought it was fixed. It has been not fixed all this time. So literally, my consumption rate is going to be exactly where it was the previous month because of the fact that this leak hasn't been fixed, right? So I was kind of frustrated because just to get the people to come out, it's like $75 plus then like, you know, everything else. And like, I'm trying to cut down on my bills and all this stuff. And so, but before I can even really go down the spiral, because I was really about to spiral to really being like upset because, you know, this is 
that's just going to be a lot of money. Even though they do the adjustment, you still have to pay the bill up front. You don't get the adjustment until later. And even then, it's only a percentage. So, yeah, a lot of money, right? But from my first live today, I told you guys, I still have my jacket right here where I found a dollar bill in my pocket randomly. And for those who didn't watch the first one, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a brief, a brief synopsis. Basically, I found this dollar bill in my pocket, right? And it was basically, it was crazy because, like, I don't carry cash. I don't um, I don't use cash at, cash at all. But it was kind of like God reminded me that he was going to provide for me financially. And that he's, going to, that he's already provided for me financially. And he's going to continue to provide for me financially. And during the, at the moment, I just thought, oh, that's cool. That's something for next year. Not realizing a couple of hours later, I will need that reminder that God still has me financially. So like while I was about to start worrying about, you know, the next bill that's going to be due, that the bill after that is probably going to be high as well, the fact that I have to pay somebody else to come out here again to fix the same problem that, you know, should have been fixed the first time. It's like, I don't have to worry because regardless, I don't know how, like, I don't know how it's going to happen, but like something's going to happen, like, but God got me pretty much, you know? So I just want to encourage you guys, you know, sometimes things happen and it sucks. You know, adulting is hard. And having responsibility suck, you know. But the thing is, it's like we serve a God who's going to be there before us all the time. And always has our back. And has no problem reminding us all the time that he has our back, you know. So I just want to encourage you guys, just in case you're going anything similar to what I'm going through. Or just even later down the line when you feel like, you know, you don't have anyone to look to, to like help. Um, just know that God's there and he can help you. And he's already, the cool thing was is that. This dollar bill was in my pocket before I knew that I needed the reminder. Literally, there was hours in between the time that I shot this, the first video I'm shooting the video now. Literally, all this shit's happened. So that was there. Who knows when that dollar got in my pocket? God planted that dollar there so that I would find it on this day during this moment when I would need an encouragement of how financially he has me. So don't worry. I just want to encourage you. Like, just don't worry. Don't like be afraid about you know if you have things going on that you don't know how it's gonna work out. Like don't worry about it because God got you. So I hope that encourages somebody. Um yeah. So you can check out the first video to see like the whole story, and you can also check out my other video from today. Just on the class, and those will be up for a while. So you can just take it, check them out at your own leisure. But yeah, I hope you're encouraged. So bye. Hopefully this might be the last video today. I don't know. Who knows? It's 9 30, so yeah, because I go to bed at 9 45. But yeah. But I will keep you guys updated on this one because we're gonna see God work this one out. And I'm believing that, you know, God's gonna blow my mind and then I'm gonna share it with you guys and it's gonna be awesome. So again, thanks for watching.